Oh, sweet coffee. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. And yes, I'm still rocking my Kinney Chesney right now. What can you do? So today I am doing makeup. Again, what else is new? I've been seeing, obviously, Selena Gomez everywhere in the beauty community right now because everybody is trying out Rare Beauty. Definitely wanna get my hands on some products, but I don't know, I feel like I've been so far into the no buy. Besides my monthly BoxyCharm, I have been so far into the no buy. I've done so good, and now it's like addicting. Like. I have been loving having to get really creative with products that I have, but I do see a future purchase very soon because I have been eyeing some Rare Beauty products. I have been eyeing a lot of things. But I can say, and I kind of want to talk about it in today's video as we go, um, I want to go ahead and get started so we're not here all day like usual, but I'm going to start with my brows. So I'm going to zoom you guys up a little bit. What I can say about not having a no buy for so or being on a no buy for so long is this year I've seen what has launched and it honestly was like the easiest year to be on a no buy. Um, not because I'm quarantined, but because there was literally like hardly any launches the beginning of this year from like March to June because of COVID. So um, yeah, pretty easy year to pull off the task of doing a no buy, I guess, but. Now I'm like, I don't know, like I feel like going on like a no buy has for one like opened my eyes to the issue that I have of consuming too much and doing, buying too much, having too much product and a lot of product that is eventually probably going to go to waste because I had a problem buying stuff. Sorry, my lips are hella dry. I'm pretty sure I've said that the last five videos. Not just that, but now I have a good mindset of what has launched, what I'm really, really wanting, and I want to kind of do like a wish list of stuff that I'm really wanting to purchase. Now that I've been on a no buy for so long, like what products really stuck out to me the most and compile them. But I think I might wait and do it with Max on the podcast, What's New in Beauty. But I think that is something I would like to do with her because I feel like she actually like has her head on more when it comes to purchases where before like I was a maniac and bought all the time I feel like she has become very like knowledgeable when it comes to like I don't need this I already have this you know and that's how I am now so I'm glad that I'm at that space now but I definitely know I've had an issue in the past with buying stuff so I'm nervous to jump back into buying a lot <laughs> because I'm like, will I go crazy? <laughs> I did buy a lipstick the other day. It was my first purchase in so long. Again, besides like subscriptions, which I only have BoxyCharm now. So I've been doing pretty good this year. I'm not spending a lot. My brow's looking kind of weird. But I still think it'd be so fun to do with Max. I know that she's more of like an like an impulse buyer. I was an impulse buyer where I feel like she is more wise about like her purchases where like if it's a Norvina launch or something like that, she was very impulsive as well. So, but I feel like we're both so much like on the same page now to where I feel like we could both compile like a wish list each of products that have really caught our eye that we definitely want to purchase at some point and just try to make it like a pretty realistic list <laughs> if that's possible since I've been on brows for like 10 minutes I'm gonna finish up this brow real quick all right I used the real her this is their uh, definer brow pencil in the shade light brown that I've still been trying out and pretty enjoying like this is the first like really sharp pencil I think I've had because I usually stick to like the triangular like ones. I'm just going to throw some concealer on. This is my Pretty Vulgar Undercover Concealer and Little White Lies. I'm going to use this later on in my face too but for now since my sponge is dry um, I'm going to just use this to pat and blend out my concealer so that I can cover my veins. 
somebody i keep seeing like all these beauty challenges and I'm like somebody needs to come up with a cool challenge on washing your makeup brushes so that i can actually get my makeup brushes done and like call it content at the same time <laughs> do you guys want to see how i clean my makeup brushes because <laughs> i really need to do it so i just have some nyx control freak clear brow gel sitting here so i'm going to be using this so to actually get into what makeup look I'm doing instead of just chattering, um, yeah, Selena Gomez has really been inspiring me lately because, like I said, rare beauty has been everywhere. Um, and I see all these looks, and it would be really cool if I had some rare beauty products to use for this video, but it is still going to be Selena Gomez inspired because she's been... I'm doing some different videos with different influencers and that type of ordeal and I feel like I see the same pattern of looks kind of like her look in the ice cream video with black pink um it's just like this simple wing liner eye look and then you're like done so that's actually what I'm doing today I'm just gonna be very basic and then on top of that it's just a bold lip and I have a lipstick in mind I was wanting to use for this look so I'm gonna make it work even though I don't have rare beauty um, products but it's still gonna be pretty Selena Gomez inspired because I've just been loving her like natural skin and I know it has to do with rare beauty but like the natural skin moment and then the bold lip wing liner um, that you see in a lot of her music videos and then just like her apparently like her day-to-day -day looks where um, That's the makeup she's doing like in these collabs if you guys didn't see her video with like Nikki tutorials or that type of wordell That's kind of like where I'm getting inspo from too um, They did a little bit of eyeshadow because I used Nikki's palette But it's still like her talking or explaining about just doing a wing liner bold lip natural skin and being done um, I definitely want to get a cream blush out She's been rocking cream blushes with her beautiful cream blush line that is coming out too. So I definitely want to do that, but it's going to be like doing a Selena Gomez inspo look without rare beauty products. <laughs> so I just went into my Bye Bye Press Pores powder to set my concealer down because I'm just going to be doing wing liner. So I'm going to go ahead and do my wing liner. I have been trying out the one from Hank and Henry. You guys know the slick with it and blickety black. I love the name. But um, I'm going to go back to my tried and true um, tattoo liner from KVD Vegan Beauty. There's nothing wrong with the Hank and Henry one. I've actually really been enjoying it. I just was missing my fave. Um, but I am really intrigued by the new one from Selena Gomez with Rear Beauty because... It is a matte one, which I do kind of prefer. I feel like this one dries down pretty matte, but it still can have a little bit of a sheen to it. And I'm kind of getting the same vibe from hers with the reviews I've seen. I feel like she always has like this like simple like but sometimes thicker liner. So I definitely am going a little thick with my liner, but it's still always like a very small, almost like just little cat eye wing. Okay, for foundation, I'm going to be applying some Flower Beauty. This is the Light Illusion Luminous Makeup Foundation Porcelain L1. And then I'm actually going to drop a couple drops of my Dr. Brandt Luminizer Primer Base into this just to tone it down a little bit shade-wise, um, make it a little bit lighter like a um, tinted moisturizer. I've been seeing a lot of people doing this hack. Kind of want to try it out for a full video that I may post even before this video goes up. I'm not sure yet, but I've been wanting to try my hand at making my own tinted moisturizer and then like doing a wear test on it because this foundation is usually a little too dark on me and I feel like this actually already toned it down quite a bit. Makes it a lot lighter, a lot more wearable. Definitely going for the luminosity with a Selena Gomez inspired look. And seeing her apply her own foundation, um, first of all, like her skin is so beautiful, like gorgeous, but 
seeing her like apply her own foundation like she barely applied any and I was like oh my god which I feel like I can sometimes be the same way and then I just have to do a little bit more concealer my ears are so red and sensitive right now because I just put earrings in and you guys probably can tell I haven't been wearing a lot of jewelry lately with quarantine I'm just like why <laughs> so They've been a little sensitive the last few times I've put jewelry in because it's been so long. But yeah, although I kind of want like a flawless look because it's Selena Gomez, seeing her do her own makeup, like she is very light with it and I do love that. So I'm going to have some freckles peek through today. Although I feel like she doesn't have like a lot of freckles or they're just like covered up very easily for her. I'm a ginger, I can't do that very easily. Okay, I might have to film a whole video on this, though. This cocktail. I may be filming a whole video and doing a wear test because I know I'm not going to have time to do a full wear test today because it's the afternoon. Shocker. You guys are not surprised at this point. So, I'm going to have to see because it looks really pretty. So, I might just do a whole video on making my own tinted moisturizer. I'm kind of mad that I'm just now figuring out that that's like a thing that you can actually do because it would have been handy every summer when I am like trying to find a good go-to tinted moisturizer. Going back into that pretty vulgar concealer, I'm going to wet my sponge and go ahead and blend this out so we can move on. For bronzer today, I'm going to be going into my Hula. This is the quickie contour stick though, because I'm wanting to do cream products, guys. Same with blush, I'm gonna be going into my Kaja Beauty. This is the shade 02 Saucy. And I'm going to, I'm, I'm still not a big fan of like the stamp part of this. I feel like it's very dense and kind of is hard to apply like a good amount. Yeah, I'm just gonna set that aside. I think I'd much rather just go into it with my finger. And this one does dry pretty fast, so I'm going to go ahead and blend that out. I'm also going to be using Liquid Highlighter. This is the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. And I was seeing somewhere that um, her favorite liquid highlighter in her line is kind of like the light pinky sheen. And that's kind of what this one is. This is the Celestial from Cover FX, so I'm gonna use it today. We're gonna be a little bit more like Selena, but I am going to put this on the back of my hand. You can kind of see, like, super pretty. Um, and with my sponge, I'm going to apply it to the high points, my nose. I am going to go back into my sponge and just blend around my concealer underneath my eyes because I have not set this yet and then I'm gonna go back into that pressed powder from it cosmetics the bye bye pores press powder I'm just taking my powder puff from beauty blender tapping that under the eyes and then lightly with my powder brush that I used earlier I'm going to just tap this Mainly in that T zone. You guys know how it is. For setting spray, I'm going to use my All Star from ColourPop. Some Faux Rills Mascara from Pretty Vulgar. Uh. I'm going to let that dry down completely before cleaning it up. Oh, I hate when that happens. I am going to take my ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Exit, which is just their bright white. I'm going to brighten up the eyes a little bit. I 
just a really easy cleanup with a spoolie. And then the lip. I am so excited to finally try this out. This is from Styx Cosmetics. I've never heard of them before until I got this lipstick, but how cool is this packaging? It looks like a little lighter. It's so cool. And the clear cap pops back like that, and then you twist the whole bottom. How cool is that? And then the color, it like matches. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I can say application wise is a little difficult <laughs> in this shape. I got this in an Ipsy or an Allure box a long time ago and just thought it was so cool. It's really creamy, really pretty. This is the completed look. If it's not completely uh, Selena Gomez inspired, it is a pretty simple, easy look to achieve. And I know I do a lot of really bold um, and out there color stories and that type of ordeal. So I definitely want to mix it up, make sure if I'm doing all these tutorials or looks, I want to make sure there is something for everyone. So if you've been interested in some cream products or you're dabbling in them, um, you want to go a little bit more bold with your lips, but keep your eyes really simple. Um, this is a really easy look and I love it. And there's still so much you can do to like really make yourself feel good um, with the products you're using, but you still don't look super heavy. It's very natural, but you still have like that pop of highlighter, that bold lip, that wing liner that wraps it all up, pulls it together, very glam-like. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And also, don't forget to subscribe. I love seeing my little beauty family grow. It means so much to me that you guys love the content that's coming out. So I, I really appreciate it. Today, I want to know down in the comments, what is your favorite bold lipstick shade? It could be any brand. Just drop it down below. I'll see you guys in my next video.